So I got home today and I had a great run. And of course, what do I want to do? I want to upload it to Garmin and Strava and Training Peaks and so on and so forth. But guess what? The Garmin Connect app is down. The whole website's down. I tried to upload it to first Garmin Connect and then it pushes it to all the other apps. And I got this thing right here. It says, sorry, we're down for maintenance. Check back short, shortly. I looked online, read an article. Looks like Garmin is having some issues. And the issues are they may have been attacked by ransomware or something. Now, it says that Garmin has this all sorted out and that they're just shutting down everything for a couple of days to patch things up. I don't think that's the case. I think that whoever attacked them with ransomware has locked them out of their own servers and they are trying to get back in currently. Um, at least that's what a couple of the Garmin employees kind of said. So we have to figure out a different way to get our data from our watches or whatever Garmin device you have to the third parties uh, like Strava and in my case, Training Peaks. So here's what you do. Take your watch or whatever device you have and your cord, this is like your, your power cord, and you connect it into your computer. In my case, I've got this Mac right here. You may not have a cool X-Wing icon on there like I do, but whatever. So I've got a Mac. You want to plug it in here and then plug your watch in like this. And then we go to the computer. Okay, so this is gonna appear right here, this Garmin icon. So double click on that. Now you're in your Garmin folder here. So click on Garmin, click on activity, find, you may have to click on date modified. And uh, there we go, now I'm showing the latest file. So this is my fit file for today or my only one that I did my run today. So this is just a fit file. And now you can go to any sort of third party and upload this fit file and it should work perfectly. And that is the workaround. It worked really well, easy. So what Garmin just showed us is that I guess we don't really need the Garmin Connect app or the Garmin Express app.